What's going on all my toy collectors and Batman fans out there? It's your boy Ox and welcome to the Cave of Wonders. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the 1995 Batman Forever Movie Vehicles by Kenner. So stay tuned as we unbox these really cool toys and compare them to other Batman vehicles made by different toy companies of today. Alright guys. And in the sizzling Batmobile, Batman lights it up on a drive for justice, making Two-Face pay twice the price. Heads, justice wins. Tails, evil loses. No question, it's Batman. All right, guys, let's start off by looking at the Batmobile first. Here's taking a look at the front of the box. You can see right here it says Batman Forever, electric Batmobile, that infamous Batman Forever uh, question mark around the Batman logo. You can see that it's made by Kenner and that it comes with light-up chassis and firing long-range missiles. Um, that is also for four and up. And you can see a really cool art image of the Batmobile right here on the front of the box with the light ups and the missiles and the guns right there. So that's really cool because I really love that about Kenner, man. They put that on all their boxes. Um, you know, it wouldn't just be an image of the toy. It would be a drawn image, you know, in action mode doing something. And then you can see right here the actual toy inside with light up features. Now I've already measured this out for you. It's 17 inches long by eight inches tall by four inches wide. So that's how much shelf space you're going to need if you want to display this on a shelf inside the box all right guys let's take a look at the rest of the box right there's that batmobile again right here's the actual batmobile inside that's not like a drawn or digital render right there you can see the proof of purchase right here and then you can see some of the things that it does you can see right here that it has um the light up like it lights up the chassis right there you can also see that it has that firing missile right here and then you can see that it has um like pop-up machine guns right here on the fins which i'll show you guys when we pop it out of the box all right okay now here's the inside of the box holding the batmobile i already slipped it out of that main box right there and as you open it up you can see it comes with a cockpit window right there that's the windshield comes with the two fins right here that are actually uh, end up being machine guns so that's them right there and we'll go ahead and hook all that stuff on in a second comes the two back fins right here all the batmobiles are notorious for having those batman fins these are like they go right on the back along with the other ones i just showed you you can see it comes with a projectile missile right here fixes this is the actual batmobile right here Already has the stickers on it, which I'll show you that once we take a closer look. These are the stickers. I had already put them on them. Ooh. This right here is the Batman Forever. Um, the directions right here. This lets you know where to put everything at, where to put the hubcaps at, how to put them on, how to put the fins on properly. Yep, right there. Let you know how to load that projectile missile, how to put the batteries in here in order to work the light up features, how to use the light up features. So, yep, all the sticker placements and stuff. This is sticker sheet. I put everything on but that one right there. And this right here is another one of them Kenner toy catalogs right here. Uh, little booklets, just giving you an up close look at what toys are coming out. Um, if you guys want to see these, I've actually been doing a Kenner catalog review of the different ones from every year. I already did 92, 93, so next so I'll be doing 94. So make sure you guys stay tuned to my channel and you guys can take a look at um, some of the different Kenner toy catalogs. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take an up-close look. All right, now here's that Batmobile and all the pieces that come with it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the body real fast. Now this is a toy I actually played with when I was little and I had already snapped on these little hubcaps that hook on all four of the tires. It's this little gray piece right here, it just snaps right in there. And these are four of the stickers right here, the little Batman symbols that stick right in there. This right here is the body. That right there is where the missile goes. You can see it has this like clear translucent blue right there. That's where that light shines through the Batmobile. This right here is the turbine. There's a little orange sticker that goes right there. That right there is the button to turn on the light features. This is where you hook on the fins at. This right here is that one-seater cockpit right there. And this is the sticker. Sticker's getting kind of old. Like I said, I've had this toy since I was little. But that right there is an up-close look at the sticker inside the cockpit of the dashboard. That's a front of look at the vehicle. All right. And let's go ahead and start snapping things on. This right here is that windshield to the cockpit right here and it just snaps on 
right here, just like this. Just kind of slide it in there. And there you go. Now it doesn't click or nothing. It just, you know, goes up and down and drops and it holds one figure inside of there. And you can see the figure inside. It's a clear window right there. Now these are the two fins that actually go on the back. Now you can end up putting these on wrong. So let me show you guys how to do it. As you can see, there's an opening right here and an opening on this side right there. Now you would think that they would go inside like this and these outside little lines would show, but it actually doesn't. It goes like this because these little lines link right into each other and that's what that makes the fins open and close. And then you just snap these on. Just like that. And see how they open and then they close just like that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these fins right here. This is them. You can see they're actually not just fins, they're like little tiny machine guns. Uh, sorry, trying to get my camera to zoom. Yeah, they're like little tiny machine guns right there and they pop up and they don't shoot anything, but they're just meant to be machine guns on the side of the Batmobile right here. And it doesn't matter what side you snap any of these ones on, they're both the exact same. So, and they have these little, little hooks right there that hook right into the here. And you'll hear it click just like that. And there you go. And then this right here is the projectile right here. This actually goes in the front. It just slides right in here in this opening. And it'll click right in there. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and try and measure this thing out for you. It's actually really long once you put on them fins right there, but I'm gonna try, I gotta kind of put it sideways so you guys can see it. It is about 21 inches from the front to the back of the fin way back here. So 21 inches long. The widest part would be right here with the tires coming out. I say it's about seven inches from the tires right here in the back. And then it is about five inches tall right there. So 21 inches long by seven inches wide by five inches tall, I think it was. So, yep. Now here's the Batmobile, just looking at it. This thing's really long, so it's kind of hard to get the whole thing on camera right there. And like I said, you can see that these go up, they come back down. There's looking at it. This is how the machine guns pop up. You just push them back just like that. My toy is really old, so it's kind of, you know, kind of flimsy, but yeah, yeah, this is how the machine guns pop out and then they just, you know, do, 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 you know, you just pretend shoot, you know, and then this right here is that cockpit and let's go ahead and show a Batman inside of it. All right. And this right here is one of the Batmans from the Batman forever line. I think this is kind of the guardians of Gotham right here. So he had a cape, but I took it off and then you just bend his legs up. Mm. And he fits right in there. Canopy closes. Kind of got to push him down a little bit. Right there. Kind of sits up. Let's see if I can get him down in there a little bit more. There you go. And right here is my boy Two-Face. I'm going to show you guys a little missile feature real quick. You push this little button right here, and that's the missile launcher right there. You push it, and boom. That's how it pops out of the front right there. All right, and another cool thing about this Batmobile is actually the light up feature. That little button right here that you push, you push that button. Now you actually have to hold that button down, and when you hold it down, it lights up. But let's go ahead and see it with the lights off in the basement. All right, guys? Hold All right, now here's that Batmobile. I'm just holding the button. The button doesn't, the light doesn't stay on unless you hold that button. But this is how it looks right here. Like I said, you can even see the Batman on the inside. And it's pretty bright. It might not be picking it up on the camera, but it's a pretty bright brat, uh, pretty bright Batmobile. And as you can see on the box behind it right there, that these lights shine pretty far on anything that it's that it's uh, driving by. So, yep, that right there is a look at how it looks with the lights on. All right, guys, now that right there was a look at the Batmobile. At the end of the video, I'll actually do a comparison of this Batmobile with some other Batmobiles, okay? But let's go ahead and move on to the Batboat. 
It's Batman forever. When the Riddler's blowing mines from his hideout, Ice Blade Batman deploys his ski sled to slam evil. Now the Batboat becomes a two-in-one terror, adapting for land to blast this vicious riddle. No question, it's Batman forever. All right, now this right here is the Batman Forever Batboat. If you remember seeing the Batman Forever movie, uh, the Riddler had broken to the Batcave, destroyed the Batmobile in the Batcave. So at the end, when Batman and Robin had to go fight Two-Face and the Riddler, they had to take the Batboat and they had to take the Batwing to go fight him. So, but this is the front of the box right here. I already measured it out for you. It's 17 inches long by nine and a half inches tall by three and a half inches wide. So that's how much shelf space you're gonna need to display this on your shelf if you're gonna be leaving it in the box. Now right up here, you can see all the same information that was on the Batmobile. Uh, you can see this really cool, um, I don't know if it's like a digital render or like a drawing of the Batmobile. And this right here lets you know that it does convert into some kind of like racing boat, like land attack vehicle. And I'll show you guys how that works once I take it out of the box. This right here is the side of it. This right here is the actual vehicle inside. As you can see, that's what it does. That's what it looks like when the when the boat opens up and you can put it on land and drive it around. You can see the little missile launcher right here. You can see it goes from bat boat to vehicle. You can see it has uh, blades that shoot out of the side right there and can drive by and you know and, and cut off people's legs or whatever. And then you can see the missile that shoots out right there in the front. Let's go ahead and pop this baby out of the box. Okay, this is what it looks like when you pull the slip cover and the vehicle out of the box. Uh, comes with the directions right here. These are the little wheels that once it goes from bat boat and it turns into like a land attack vehicle, you just slap them little wheels on. Let you know it comes with a little missile right here. Let's move those out of the way. Actually, I can pop this open. Sorry, I've never opened this Batmobile up. These right here are the stickers that go on. Not a lot of stickers, but these are the stickers right here. This is right here is another one of those little Kenner uh, catalogs. If you guys want to see, a, a, I think I told you guys already that I'm already doing the catalogs from Kenner from the, the Toy Fair. But these little catalogs, I can also do a review on a bunch of these. Let me know down in the comments below. This is just gives you a quick look at a bunch of different toys that are coming out. So uh, let me know down in the comments. You guys want to take a look at a bunch of those because I have a whole bunch of them. And this right here is the directions. There's this Batman Forever Bat Boat. Let you know where to put all the stickers at. There's not too many. Let you know how to snap the fin right on the back. Let you know how to lock it in place so it stays in Bat Boat area. Let you know how to move the uh, the steering wheel. That way it stays in... Because if you move the steering wheel a certain way, it keeps the boat locked so it doesn't open up into a car. Let you know how to put the wheels on there. Right here, let you know how to load that projectile, how to put the Batman in there, how to shoot the projectile, how to move these little um, blades out of the side, how to put them back, yep. how to latch that little thing at the bottom. So let's move this out the way. Oh, and like I said, them are the wheels and that's the projectile. Now, this is one I never opened up out of the box, so it's still strapped all in. But as you can see, it just comes with the fin and it just comes with the bat bolt. But I already have this out of the box, the one I played with when I was little. So that's the one we're going to take a look at. Okay, now this right here is that bat boat all out of the box. Like I said, this is the one that I had since I was little. I didn't take the one out of there. But the only thing that you actually have to put on here is the stickers. And these right here are the stickers right there. You can see right there, that's the dash. The stickers right here by the seats. These stickers ended up holding up pretty well. Now, the only thing you have to, ha at the, have to actually hook on is the fin right here. And once you put this fin on, you can't get it off. I've tried pulling this thing off over the years. That way I could store it without it getting all bent up. And uh, I just can't get it off. And then you put the wheels on, which I'll show you those once I turn this thing into a land attack, into a land attack vehicle. But has one seat right there. We'll go ahead and throw Robin in there since he's the one who drives it in the movie. And yep, he fits right in there just like that. So, yep. And then this right here is the back, the turbine. There's not a sticker that goes on there. This doesn't light up like the Batmobile does. And you see a little button right here. That button actually activates this missile right here, but the missile doesn't shoot unless it's in land attack, land attack mode. So, and then there's little blades that pop out the bottom right here. And those blades are meant to, I guess when he's driving by, he could, if someone's underneath the water, he could cut them or a net or something like that. He can cut, but 
I don't really know if he's meant to cut people up or something like that. So, but yeah, man, right there, that's a look at the bat at the bat boat. And then let's measure it out for you real quick before we open it up. From the front to the back of the top of that fin, it's 22 inches by five inches wide by five and a half inches tall at the back of that fin right there. Now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to open this thing up so that way it can turn into a land attack vehicle. There's uh, the little steering wheel right here. If you kind of move that over a little bit and then you move this latch back right here, that allows it to open up. I actually don't like doing this because um, right here, these little latches are kind of you know loose and sometimes these things just pop right back off and you gotta put it back together. But that right there is how it looks when it's in land attack mode. Um, these little blades come out actually on each side right there. That way when Robin's driving by, he can actually cut a guy, you know, I guess cut a guy's legs off. He can, you know, knock off his legs. So, yep, that's what those are for. And then, um, you know, he has a missile right here. So, you know, shooting, you know, knock down Two-Face. And then you just hook the missile right back in there just like this. So, but yeah, man, right there, that's how it looks. And then the bottom of it. This is where you hooked on, hook on those wheels that I showed you. They just pop on and pop right back off. And so, and there's there's four of those wheels right there. And like I said, this right here is that steering wheel that ends up locking this once you, uh, once you close it and put it together. You just push that back down, turn the steering wheel a little bit, and then it's locked right back in place. So yeah, man, right there, that's the Bat Boat. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And when Batman soars in the Turbo Batwing, evil is blasted from the skies and battered with an explosive surprise. Who's the ultimate answer to crime? No question, it's Batman. Okay, now last but not least, this right here is the Batman Forever Batwing. Uh, the same as the other two vehicles we just looked at. You can see right here it has a digital image or an art image of the Batwing right here in the front of the box. See that Batman Forever logo, the Kenner logo. Uh, says right here that it has a hidden battle cockpit with explosive rocket launcher. Um, it, that right there shows the cockpit that slides out and how the wings drop down. This thing came from KB Toys. It was $27.99 on sale for $19.99 um, back in 1997, it says. Now, I've already measured this out for you. It's 16 and a half inches long by nine and a half inches tall by four and a half inches wide. So that's how much shelf space you're gonna need if you wanna keep this in the box and display it on a shelf, all right, guys? Let's go ahead and take a look at the side of the box. Right there's that bat wing. Right here's showing you the same as it showed you on the front, right there at the bottom. Right here is the actual bat wing on the inside. Right here shows you how the wings do drop down, how that um, uh, the, the cockpit piece right there detaches, which is like a, a secondary vehicle. So it shows you how that missile shoots out the front right there. So let's go ahead and crack this bad baby open. All right, now this is the bat wing out of the box. Um, this one, like I said, is brand new. You can see it's all wrapped up right there. Uh, this is the main piece right here. It don't have the wings connected onto it. Comes with this little pack right here with the directions, the stickers, that back wing that hooks on the back, the missile launcher right there, and then the two extra wings right here that are inside there. So, yep. Now, I don't see a little booklet in here that it comes with. It might, but... I don't want to break this all apart just because I actually already have this toy since I was little and that's the one I'm going to show you guys, okay? Okay, now this is that bat wing all out of the box, all the pieces that come with it. Let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at the body right here. This is before I hooked the wings on, that's where the wings hook onto. This right here is that cockpit, it just opens up just like that. It fits one vehicle. As you can see, it don't have any stickers on the inside. It does have a little seat belt which we'll take a look at in a second. Right here's that turbine right there. Wasn't no sticker that goes on there either. And I'll show you guys how to put a figure in there in a second. An easier way than trying to slide them in here. There's another way to put a figure in there and I'll show you that in a minute. This right here is that back fin. It just slides right on the back right here. See that little opening? It just hooks in there. Just like that. Now unlike the bat bolt, this one will come right off. The one from the bat bolt, it actually won't come off. This right here is that projectile. It just slides right in the front just like that. 
and there's the button to shoot it and i'll show you how that works a little bit later but yeah right there sorry this thing's a little bit dusty i've had this thing since you know 1995 and these right here are those two bat wings that go on each side. Uh, they actually bend right here, and I'll show you why they bend. You've probably seen them in the box sitting like that, and this part was sitting up. But I'll show you how they, how you know why why they bend like that. But this is the right one. It just clicks right into there. Here's the left one, the same. Just slide it in there. And right there's your bat wing looks pretty cool but it also has another feature right here kind of shelf um you know saving space on the shelf as well this is kind of how it can just sit by itself you know you fold those wings down or it can kind of like i don't know if it's meant to like glide across water like this kind of be like a like a uh you know the bat wing that flies but also lands on water it can kind of you know skid around but then it also has this detachable back right here this is why they say it's two vehicles in one. And you don't push a button, you just kind of pull up on it. And this right here, I don't know if it's meant to be like a some kind of jet ski, because in the movie, when the Batmobile goes down, the wings detach and it's kind of floating around in the water. Just this top piece right here and Batman's inside there and Robin's being attacked by a bunch of goonies in the water. So then he shoots out of it, but he doesn't shoot off in this thing. But so this is just something that they end up coming, you know, you know, coming with with the vehicle or whatever with this toy vehicle. But yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Basically, he just holds it and flies across the water. Let's go ahead and put a Batman in there. This I found is a lot easier way to actually put a Batman in here first than trying to fit him through that window right there. He just slides in there. You can try and connect his hands to that, but it also has a little seat belt. Uh, Kenner used to do that with a lot of their Batmobiles and vehicles and stuff. Um, I don't know if it was promoting like seat belt safety for kids, but it just latches right in there just like that. See, I just pushes through that little hole and that way the Batman can't come out. So, and this is the Batman I use. I just like the way he looks with these little goggles and stuff. So, and then it just hooks right into the back of there. Right there's that opening. Just push it in there and it kind of, and it clicks just like that. Yep. So, me can just bend these things back. And that's how it looks. Let's go ahead and let me show you guys how to work that missile launcher real quick. Now, let's just say the bat wing is just flying around and then he ends up seeing whoever he wants to shoot. There's a button right here. That button you pushes and it shoots off this projectile right here. Boom, just like that. Now let's go ahead and measure it out for you guys. Um, this is a really big vehicle, so I'm gonna step into it. It is 16 inches wide from each side of the wing. It's about 26 inches from right here at the at the front of the wing to the back of the fin right here and it comes out to about four and a half inches tall from the back of the fin right here so it's a pretty big vehicle to display but like i said luckily you guys can pop off that fin and pop back off these wings and store it if you guys don't want to display it inside your toy room or man cave or whatever so but yeah man right there was a look at the bat wing Okay, now this right here is a little bonus vehicle. This right here is actually all three of those vehicles in one. It came in one box called the tri Triple Action Vehicle Set. It came out a little bit later in the year after the uh, after the main toys from Batman Forever had came out. So basically, this is three vehicles in one. It's the Batboat, the Batwing, and the Batmobile. And you could choose what vehicle you want to connect them all to. So I'm going to step into the camera real quick and show you guys. This right here is the main piece that kind of connects all of them. So if you want to make the Batmobile, you use this piece right here. And it just slides in there like that. You use the back piece right here. Slides right into the bottom and it already has the same stickers right there as the, as the, uh, the original Batmobile that I showed you guys earlier. That same little cockpit windshield right there. Kind of put it in sideways. And it snaps right in there just like that. And then you guys can put these little fins right on there. And 
And then here's that back fin right here. Now, if you remember the Batmobile I showed you guys earlier, there's two of these and they kind of laid out like that. This one only comes with one because the bat wing and the bat and the bat bow only had one wing. So and connects on there just like that. Okay, now this right here is the two Batmobiles right next to each other. Like I said, this was the first one I showed you guys. And this right here is that uh, triple action vehicle set. And like I said, they almost look the same. The only difference is the, the back fin right there doesn't separate. It doesn't have a missile that shoots out. It doesn't have any kind of light up features. It's skinnier right here. So, but that right there is the two, um, you know, how this Batmobile ends up looking compared to the, to the original Batmobile. All right, now let's go ahead and take this one apart and show you how it looks with bat in the bat boat. Pop off that bottom piece, mm, pop off the front. Connect this piece right here. And it just slides in there, just like that. And boom. There you have the bat boat. Okay, now here's the two bat boats next to each other. You can see this is the original bat boat. This is the three in one triple action one. The difference is this one doesn't have the extra paint features and details right here. And this one has the canopy, which is pretty cool. But in the movie, it actually didn't have a canopy. It was wide open. But this one right here does have a canopy. You can choose to take that off if you want. And it's actually bigger than the bat boat, than the original bat boat. Not by much, but just by a little. Um, you know, kind of, let's see if I can do a side by side. Yeah. It's bigger by just a little bit. So not very much. But, and like I said, this one's a lot more glossier. This one's more of a dull black. But, yep. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at it as a bat wing. Now, if you want to turn it into the bat wing, you just add on these two wings right here. They just click into these sides, which is open. So when it is in bat, in, when it is the bat boat, you'll be able to see these two open areas right there. But when you want to turn it into the bat wing, you just take these. And they just click into there like that. And yep, they're right there. That's how you turn it into the bat wing, right? Now it looks a little funny because you can actually see that it's the the bat boat but yep right there now let's go ahead and zoom out and i compare both these bat wings together right okay now here's these two bat wings together like i said this right here is that one that turns into three different vehicles it's a lot bigger a lot bulkier and you can see right here in the front how it actually looks like the bat boat which um, kind of looks weird compared to the original bat wing right here uh, this one looks a lot more sleeker uh, glossier this one has that flat black right there and it has a different cockpit window like i said it has the bat has the batmobile cockpit window compared to this one right here there's a lot more movie accurate so but size comparison like i said this one's a little bit bulkier um, this one has a lot more detail a lot more paint right here you can see the blue so that's pretty much it right there looking at all three of these vehicles Okay, guys, now right here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a bunch of different Batmobiles and see a comparison. Right there's that Adam West 66 Batmobile. Right here's that Michael Keaton 1989 Batmobile. Here's the one we just did a review on, the Val Kilmer Batman Forever Batmobile. Right here's the George Clooney Batman and Robin Batmobile. The Christian Bale Batman Tumbler from the Dark Knight Collection. Right there's the Ben Affleck Batmobile from Batman vs. Superman. I never took that one out of the box because I like the Amazon one a lot better. Right here's the Robert Pattinson, the Batman Batmobile uh, from that newer movie that just came out a year or two ago. And uh, yeah, they all scale really well with each other. Like I said, this is just the ones from the movies. So with the, with the live action actors, um, like I said, this one doesn't have lights. This one doesn't have lights. The, the one we just looked at, the Batman Forever one, does have lights. This one from Batman and Robin should have had lights. Uh, the mold for this came out so many different times. Some have lights, some don't. Uh, that one didn't have lights. And this one right here that Spin Master did actually does have lights. So, but yeah, man, it's a really cool, really cool Batmobile, man. I, the Batman... Uh, forever Batmobile will always be one of the coolest Batmobiles obviously my opinion uh, right up here next to the Keaton Batmobile but yeah man with the lights and just the way it looks man it just it just looks dangerous coming up the road man or you know um, when I seen it in the movie so 
But yeah, it looks really cool. But let's go ahead and do a comparison of that uh, Batman Forever Batwing real quick. Okay, now right here is a comparison of that Batman Forever Batwing that we looked at right here with um, the Batman the Animated Series uh, Batplane. Like I said, this is a, another version that Hasbro, like I said, Hasbro is just notorious for uh, repaints and stuff like that. And right here is that new Spin Master Batwing right here. This is for the four inch figures. So, and they all scale pretty well together. Let's check out some other bat wings real quick, all right? Okay, now last comparison right here. That right there is that bat wing that we looked at. Right here is the Air Hogs Batman vs. Superman bat wing. As you know, they, Mattel never made a bat wing uh, for that Batman vs. Superman movie, um, which they should have because it would have been really cool to complete that line with that bat wing, but I have to use that Air Hogs. And then right here is that Kenner Batman Dark Knight Collections bat wing. And yeah, these two scale really well together like they're supposed to. But like I said, that Air Hogs one's a lot smaller. So, but been really cool if they would have came out with it. So McFarlane, if you're watching this, we could use that right there. So, but yep, that right there is a comparison of the other bat wings that I have. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that look today at the Batman Forever movie vehicle set by Kenner. These vehicles right here are amazing. Kenner put a lot of work and a lot of detail into these toys right here back in the day. And these vehicles are actually some of my top favorite Batman vehicles out of any of the toy lines that they've ever came out with. These things gave me a lot of playtime and a lot of joy as a child. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video down in the comments and let me know if you guys had these vehicles or if you always wanted these vehicles. And make sure you guys like and subscribe and until next time, stay cool.